Hey guys, how are we doing today? And welcome back to another episode of the Automation Campaign. Now, in the last episode, we expanded a lot. Like, I mean a lot. We now have, what was it, eight cars? Yeah, eight cars for the basic entry level car. Eight cars for the sort of middle range car. And I mean, the, the high end, really high end car is still in still in development so yeah but no one thing we definitely need to do is build the factories because we have these new engines so this three cylinder uh four cylinder five cylinder and then the four cylinder uh, the large four cylinder which gets used in pretty much all of these vehicles so we need to build new factories because at the moment nope that's engine projects at the moment we don't actually have many at all so this engine is in use in the old vehicles this is a no this is the engine that's being used in the old vehicles this engine goes into the v6 which is used for the um, really high spec car so i think we need to make a new engine factory now which ones so we need ones for all of these so these top five factories so we need five factories so let's have a look so this v6 shouldn't really be a large factory it should be the small factory but i can fix that later i think i mean they're already tooling it ready for that one engine so we can yeah so let's make a new end let's make a new factory and we're just going to make it for our ecomax engine the inline for the big engine I believe this is so we're going to take the Fruinia which is where we started and where we're going to stay we're going to take a large plot let's do a large plot large three uh, so a large three factory we need an iron foundry I think we're using aluminium in this engine as well so we need an aluminium foundry and Depending on how much does this cost already, this is going to be quite expensive. A million. Yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> so we're going to do a tiny bit more automation, tiny bit more on tooling. QA threshold, we're going to increase that. So we 10,000 engines, 10,000 per engine, which is good like that. I'm happy with that. And I mean, wages will just keep at 0%. There's no point in really increasing that. So we've got one new engine factory. So now we also want so 1 million. So I'm going to be building two engine factories. So we're going to retool this engine factory eventually for the other four cylinder. When does this engine factory get built? So that's that engine factory. So this is the engine factory that we currently have going. And it'll really it'll be finished when the engine finishes. So let's have a look so we've got the smaller four cylinder which is the other one we definitely need to uh, the other factory which we definitely need to make so we're going to be quite low on money after this but hopefully when we're selling our cars that shouldn't be a, much of a problem anymore so let's do the other four cylinder and do pretty much the exact same thing so large plot we're going to have a large three large three. Oh, this is an aluminium engine so we don't even need um, an iron iron foundry oh wait no this is the large factory this is the large engine uh, okay so this is the aluminium engine so we won't even be spending that much well I said we won't be spending that much money on this factory it's still a lot of money so let's have a look here so we've got about 4,000 engines per well, per engine that's all right i think i mean it costs a bit more to make these engines but then again the engines are a bit bigger so let's increase the qa threshold a little bit and i think we should be happy here now we've got this engine uh both the four cylinders are being made and uh, well both the four cylinder factories are being made this factory how many engines this is produced let me have a look so configure we'll do the inline three did we at least have a large factory like can we increase no 
So how many engines can we... This, this factory is useless. <laughs> it's not useless. If we have an engine that really doesn't need to be made much... Like that we don't need many engines for it. This is fine, but this is a useless factory. So we can actually... Yeah, that, that we, we can just leave it. That, that engine's not being made anymore for any cars. This engine's the one that we're using for all our cars. Up until the new facelift. And the V6 will then probably be put into that small factory. I mean, to be fair, we actually, to be fair, the, the, the V6 is useless. We're going to take out the V6 and use the inline 5. So that little engine factory is really not very useful. So, yeah, what are we going to do? So we've got the this Regale and we've got this Regale. This is the old Regale, which... I don't know why it's still here. Is it still being made? Let's have a look. So, car factories. Regale Mark II. Regale. Ah, no, the, the new Regale is taking its place. So, let's have a see. So, we got the. We can make. We should probably make a new Sposter. So, let's have a look at what sort of. Uh, what do you call it? Let's see how many. Let's see what sort of bodies we can use for. The, for the new Sposter, because it is quite needed that we need a new van, the van that we have is probably a bit out of date now, but I don't think I have that many bodies for, for that, I mean we have, that, that, <laughs> we're not using this body, but, um, no, let's have a see, let's have a look, there isn't really all that much in terms of vans, I mean you have these older bodies, but the problem is, there is only one real good body, and it's this one. In my opinion, at least. So, we're just going to have to, I guess, make another facelift? I mean, yeah. I mean, these are really small, so I don't really want to use them. Uh, so, yeah. I guess we are making a new facelift of the Regale, uh, of the Sposter. So, delete this project. And let's go to the Sposter, work on it, and create a new facelift. So, we are also going to be putting the new engines into this because right now we've only got the, the old engines. And just updating it. So, let's have a look. So, suspension, there isn't really much. We could put ABS into it, but I don't think it's necessary. So,. Let's see, do we have CDs? No, we have basic cassettes now though, which I guess they would be happy with a cassette player. Uh, under tray, let's leave the under tray away. Brakes are fine. I mean, there isn't really all that much I can do. I mean, I can use a man I can put manual 5 speed into it, but I don't think I particularly want to do that. So let's go to engine selection. Let's choose an engine. So we've got the small uh, one point, uh, one the small four-cylinder engines and we've got the big ones I think we're going to make a one point it's very difficult to decide which way I want to go because I don't particularly want to make too many different engine variants for this vehicle I think two will be fine so I think what I'm going to do is 1.5 I'm going to do the 1.5 and the 1.7 I think and then I don't know whether it'd be worth it doing the three-cylinder as a, like a really eco friend, as like a really eco variant. So let's have a look here. So let's do one base of the 1.7 liter engine. The none of these have turbos because they're the smaller engines. They don't particularly need turbos. Or in our case, they don't particularly need turbos. So yeah 1.5 or 1.7 should be fine I think if I do a 1.2 liter I'll it'll def it'll have to sell and I can't really guarantee that it will sell so let's have a look here so we now have traction control interesting don't know how that ah no I have no idea how that works I think it's got to do with the with the intake uh, with the fuel injection I think traction control can be worked on with fuel injection I, I'm not entirely sure so yeah let's have a look so I don't think they particularly want an under trade do they I mean it's a lot of money that we don't really need to be wasting so let's 
make the drums a little uh, let's make the brakes a little bit bigger I'd say so do we want to go for a two piston on the front I mean I am going to make this these brakes more comfortable I'm already there you go so let's tune these brakes to be more comfortable so let's make bigger front piston uh, let's do two caliper front pistons and then we're going to make it really comfortable or more comfortable and then make them smaller because apparently that's too much braking well not enough, not enough braking if that's the case doesn't matter anyway so wheels I mean they're fine I mean I don't really see a problem with these wheels so yeah could do a tiny bit with could do with a tiny bit of tuning Oh, perfect there you go so what are we lacking on so drivability is good comfort is very high prestige is higher than co competition but the off-road that's where we are lacking apparently so we can't go off-road like at all so will it be worth doing all-wheel drive I mean they do like it but I'm not doing all-wheel drive nope because that's expensive and I don't think it'll boost sales that much. Engines knocking, we knew that. So rear brake force is high, rear tire width is high, and the car has wheel spin. So, ah, okay, so we can, what's the top speed looking like? So let's limit it to 130, I think, because that's the speed limit on German autobahns. So, let's lower the gearing a little bit to match that and then I mean the, oh wait that, that makes that has a negative effect on fuel economy doesn't it so let's have a look let's do 150 kilometers an hour as a top speed and then bring up the spacing a little bit so it's shorter spacing Yes, it's got a lot of, it'll be a lot of wheel spin, apparently, but uh, it's a cargo vehicle. It's not really the first thing you think of when you look at a cargo, cargo vehicle. So, yeah, I think what we're go I'm going to do now is redesign the vehicle just a little bit. I don't want to do a huge, massive redesign because it just wouldn't make sense for this kind of vehicle. It's just supposed to be a workhorse it's not supposed to be pretty and yeah I mean I can see if I can put something new on the front of it something to change things up a little bit I guess you could say keep up make something modern something sellable so yeah let's have a look at what we can come up with I'll see you guys in a sec okay so here we are just doing a quick little facelift of the Sposter nothing big nothing serious just to keep it relevant and up-to-date so yeah, I'll be back with you guys once the time lapse is finished. All right, so here we have it, our facelifted Sposter. Now, in terms of design, I didn't, I, like I said, I wasn't going to change too much. I added a nice vent in the middle, I changed the fog lights in the bottom a little bit and added this really nice line. And on the back the brake lights have now, well, gotten bigger <laughs> and they've been uh, placed, they've been put into another place, so. But yeah, turned out pretty nice I think, so. In terms of competitiveness, it's at about 450 competitiveness score, which honestly is very good for, I'm really happy with that, so, yeah, so, let's, so that was this variant, I believe, yep, so we're going to get rid of this, we're going to do this, and I'm just going to turn this into the passenger, passenger fleet model, and then I will do a different engine variant for this vehicle. So I'll see you guys once I've done that. Well, it turns out that they prefer the really small engine. I decided to go with the 1.3 litre because otherwise there would there needs to be some sort of difference. But it turns out they prefer the 1.3 litre with the, 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 the tiny version. 
with no power. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so how many vehicles are we actually producing? I think we can upgrade the factory to one more. I feel like we could. I feel like we'll sell enough. So let's up the automation, up the quality a little bit, and yeah, I think we're fine with that. Yeah, pretty cool. So. <clears throat> This is already looking great. I'm not going to mess around with this too much. Although, engines, we need the new engine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to set the price. So the price for the top variant of the van will be, I don't know, 6,000, the van, uh, the cabin variant, so the thingy variant will be 6,5. And then let's have a look. So this will be 5.2, I think, because it's a much smaller engine. And this will be 5.8. So money-wise, this looks all right. I mean, we're not making huge amounts of money, but we're consistently selling the vehicle. So they're not very happy with the fact that we priced the passenger fleet variant so high. So we're going to take that down a little bit. We'll do. 5.5 here. Oh no, that's bad. So apparently they wanted to be more. We wanted to be more expensive. So I guess we'll 5.5 there, and then do 6.5 there. I I guess it's it. It'll work. Actually, now how much more expensive? 6.3 six, will do. So yeah, pricing in this game. There you go, 1.5 billion in profit, which is a decent amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to complete the design, but we're not going to actually accept on it just yet. So we're not going to release it just yet until the middle of 1992. So one thing we are going to do is we're going to completely get rid of the, the Razzo. And we're going... Do we design a new sports car? I mean, it would be quite cool, wouldn't it? So this is a medium, medium one factory. So we could design something, some interesting cars, and we could probably design it with the uh, five-cylinder turbos, which would give them a good use as well. So actually, yeah, let's do it. So what do we want? We want sports car, and yeah, I feel like well, we need to see what bodies we have first. So. This body we have, we don't want it to be a big sports car. We don't want it to be a... We don't want to shy away from our company. Let's put it that way. So let's have a look and see. So we've got the NSX body. We have, I think these are older Aston Martin bodies. I'm not entirely sure. There isn't really much in terms of sports bodies. So we're going to have a look what sort of coupes we've got. So coupe bodies. I mean, it looks like we might actually have, but a five cylinder in this car, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 we want something a bit bigger, I guess we'll have to take one of these engines then, or, or, we could take this bigger body, let's do the small Ferrari lookalike body, so, I guess we'll take this one for the time being, I don't really like that window, I mean, let's just have a look. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. So, do we do partial aluminium? I think we do partial aluminium now. Because we've got steel and we've... let's Yeah, let's do partial aluminium. So, we'll do some aluminium, some steel. We'll do a monocoque chassis with just normal steel, I guess. We'll do a mid... Do we want to do middle engine or rear engine? I mean, we could do it mid transverse engine and we'll do double wishbone actually we can do McPherson struts all around that will save a bit of money for us we don't want this car to be so expensive that no one will buy it so let's go and have a look so let's take the 2.8 litre turbo the five cylinder and that's all aluminium which is awesome and manual five speed poor that's a that's a lot of top speed. So, uh, do we want to go with a gear diff? We'll have a look at how much they'll like it. So we'll do medium compound, we'll do 195s all around. 
17 inch rims that would be nuts i guess we'll do let's do 16 inch rims on that looks all right that feel, feels like it should be all right but yeah so we'll do the same for the rear we'll pull it out a little bit a little bit more and that looks fine so Solid discs, two pistons on the front. Solid discs, one piston on the rear. I think that should be fine. No on the tray. We will want sports interior with a premium cassette, I think. Hydraulic, traction control, ABS. We want advanced 90 safety. We want this to be a safe car. And we'll take just standard suspension tuning. And this car is oversteery like crazy so what are we having problems with so utility i don't remember sports cars being very utility being very utilitarian sportiness is down so that's a problem uh if we take away no right so if we no they pr they did like it when i had that cassette player in there so I mean, one thing we can do is we can increase the quality on this. We can go to the wheels, do alloy wheels. Forgot to do that. We can do sports compound tires. The car has strong oversteer. How do I solve that problem? Because the problem is, is the power. I feel like it's the power that's causing the problems here. So, I mean, we can do understeer on the front. And... Apparently this is a convertible, <laughs> apparently this is a convertible, but can we do something with the anti-roll bars to make the car understeer a little bit more? We could take them away a little bit on the back. I feel like we're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close to understeer. Understeer! I mean, we do want oversteer, but oh, this car's not going to be drivable, is it? <laughs> I can already see that happening. So we want some hard dampers dampeners we want some stiffer springs so drivability is very high we want there you go we're getting more sporting we're getting we're getting better in the sportiness category so we want to increase the quality of the suspension because i mean it would only make sense we want to include let's have a look so interior want to make the interior nicer for these people so Actually, if we do plus one quality, that immediately gives us a bump in 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 the in the sportiness category. So, under tray, we don't we don't need an under tray. We we would need an airflow optimized under tray, but we don't have anything like that in the game at the moment. So, let's make the rear brakes do a little bit more. Let's do about fifty five percent front. Increase the brake size. And turns out they do quite like the way this vehicle drives now, so. Wheels, we're good with wheels, I think. I want, I, I hope. Do they want a differential? Okay, they want a differential. Uh, spacing, do they want longer gears or do they want shorter gears? They want short, they want longer gears. Or longer first gear. So, we'll stick with that. Oh, they do like it when it's not an advanced automatic, but no, no, no. We're going to do a five-speed manual transmission. We'll be happy with it. <laughs> variable. Oh, variable steering adds a lot, though. But we don't want this to be a... Is there much point? I mean... It doesn't add that much to our... Actually, it adds six months. So, but they do like it a lot, which kind of is making me want to want to use it. So, gearbox, we want a better gearbox. Gearboxes are important. And we're getting really close now to a point where I could say, hey, look, we're very sporty. But engineering time is mahusive for this car, so... Shame. But, yeah, so let's have a look what we can do. So we can... Raise the rear. 
make the wheels a bit wider. We can pull this back a little bit. I do quite like it. Pull it back a tiny bit. And let's see what else this body can do. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that for the time lapse. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's start the time lapse now. All right, so here we have it. Our almost almost supercar. I don't want to classify this as a supercar because I don't think it has the power for one, but a sports car definitely. And well, I, I probably should have tried something new with the design, but essentially I just took the grill from the car we currently have and I tried to make it work in a sports car context and I feel like it turned the right. It doesn't look too bad. Maybe a little bit out of date, but that's all right i guess i mean yeah <laughs> but no all in all i think this turned out pretty nicely and the car does handle quite nice the it looks all right and yeah i mean i hope it sells well so i'll see but yeah we'll see so yeah i'll talk to you guys once the time lapse is finished i'll see you then Okay, so here we have it. The what I've now called the Velocita. Velocite. I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce it. But I think it turned out alright. It was an interesting challenge trying to get the design from the com like the company design on the sports car, but I feel like it went alright. It doesn't really look the way I want it to, but I feel like it looks pretty good the way it does. It's, it's something it looks a little bit different. But yeah, so in the end, I managed to get the competitiveness score to 193, which is really good for the sports segment, which have an 83% affordability. So hopefully this thing will sell pretty damn well. Now, I didn't really do all that much in terms of actually making the car good. I basically, all I did is I put some wings on it and then I tuned the, I put, I put front splitter on. Well, not a splitter, a front lip, and then I put a little spoiler on the back. And that has allowed me to adjust the wing angles and all that kind of good stuff. So that's pretty much what I've done. But, yeah, I feel like this turned out alright. We're only going to be doing the uh, one model, I think. I don't, I don't think it'll be worth doing a smaller engine model of this car. So I hope that just this one will work. So we're going to replace the Razo. And yeah, let's let's see how this will look because I, I don't want to be producing a stupendous amount of these cars. I just want these cars to be just on the side, just doing its little thing. So we're still selling 2,000 a month somehow. So yeah, I mean, we can increase tooling quality a little bit and uh, increase automation a little bit. So that seems about right. So let's have a look. So reliability they not looking for reliability which is kind of weird but it, that was the time that was that was the time for instance when the nx when the uh, original nsx released it that thing never sold 
purely because of how stable and reliable and people wanted something a bit more dramatic. So let's have a look. So we want this thing to release pretty quickly, I think. So at the moment it's releasing in just over five years. Let's actually do five years. That, 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 that'll be fine. Five years? Five years? Okay. Five years. So. Oh, it's already green and we haven't even priced it yet. So let's do 15,000. One billion. Let's do 14,000 just to see if it'll go up if I bring it down. So no. So 16,000. 17,000? Okay. We'll do 16,000 for the price of this vehicle, which is crazy considering it'll be a new car so engine factory doesn't exist yet for this engine that's really not good so wait let's go back oh we've got the mark 3 spot start. i completely forgot about that oh <laughs> so let's go into this let's go into engine management is there an actual factory making this car uh, this engine Is there? I don't know. Let's have a look. Because I know I did the four cylinder ones. And I will need some more money to make the three cylinders. Uh, to get the factory for the three cylinders. So let's view. So we've got the inline six will be replaced by the V6. The V6 is going straight into the bin and is going to be used. <laughs> that's where the, ah, that's where the um, inline fives will go. So this is the old inline four factory this is the really old inline four factory for the engines actually now we, we need we need this engine to be produced a bit more so these two factories have the two new four cylinder engines this will have the five cylinder engine and this will have the three cylinder engine in that case i think we should uh if we go back to the engine if we go back to the engine i keep clicking on the same thing over and over again if we go back to the engine, we have inline three, inline three, uh, inline four Eco Max, the Cinque Max, and the Eco Max, but the EPI, so the injected variants. Okay, actually, this is looking all right, you know. So this V6 is kind of was kind of stupid, but. It was an attempt. So. Yeah, I think this will be fine. So what we can do is we can actually go to factory manager and then we can do select and configure for the inline three. I think that's what we want to do. Hold on. Let's, have a, let's just double check that I'm actually doing this correctly. So we've got the inline four, inline four, inline five, and then the inline three. Exactly. So... We can actually configure this to the inline threes and uh, both engines and this isn't even the really big one so i think 31,000 for the time being is fine how much does the tooling cost 188 million i think we're just going to keep it the way it is the engine's really cheap to rebuild so all we're doing now is a retooling of this factory what's this this is the sposta mark three I think we kept that behind because um, let's have, because I think it had the new engines in it. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, this had the new engine. So it had the 1.7 and the 1.3. So we actually do have a three cylinder in this. So let's wait until these factories are done. So 19, end of 1992. And then we should be good to go. I'll... Yeah. But what we are going to do is we are going to sign off on the... Ching, on the Vela Cheetah. I think that's... I'm, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. And... Barely costs anything to make, to design. I mean, I already did have the engine, but... I am going to take out a loan, a slightly more sizable one. Because I'm... Just in case anything does go wrong with the engine factories we have a little bit of a buffer so what we're going to do is we're going to do a 60 month payback and yeah that'll be fine so this will leave and yeah 
I'm gonna let it run and I'll be back with you guys if anything happens. Oh no. This is really bad. <laughs> These two factories all of a sudden came alongside. So these two factories suddenly started building as well and all of a sudden I've gone into bankruptcy and I've got one way I think we can help. So we've got this loan. So we've got this loan that we need to take. One other thing I can do is I can sign off on the Sposta which is a stupid idea but it's the only thing I can think of. And hope that if I take a big loan out on it, because I don't I don't need to pay back the loan until the vehicle has been sold or the vehicle vehicles on sale. So if I go to sign off, am I making any money on this? Yeah, I think I already set this all up, didn't I? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it the way it was. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch it. But I'm going to sign off on this, on this facelift, and I'm going to take out 200%. Payback length, 120 months. So... Uh, actually, let's do... Let's do 10 million a month. So, what is this? 96 months. But hopefully this loan will really help. Just keep us alive, so... They're forcing us to take the loan, yes. So we've signed off on the Sposta now. We should see the loan has done nothing. Oh, please. I don't want to be back. Come on. So the factories are done in about half a year. In that case, we'll go bankrupt. Well, we'll hit bankruptcy again. And hopefully... Come on. So we have... Just a few more months. So we're going to have to take out another loan. So. You went to think it's balance? Yes, it's going to force us to take another loan. But by the time these factories are done, these, oh, these two are going to come in as well. This is going to get so expensive so quickly. So hopefully that the other car can keep us afloat. Oh... My goodness, I mean, we got a huge... How quickly are we going to have to repay this? Hold on. This may, this might put us into bankruptcy expenses. Bankruptcy loan, bank... Uh, the Velocita... Bankrupt... 73 million a month! Oh no! This might be the end. <laughs> this may be the end. I mean, are we actually going to continue losing this much money? Why are we losing this much money? This car is making us profits, but we are. Oh, no, I think we're done for. I think that's the end. And we've still got these two factories to come in. We've got the. F we've got these cars releasing soon. We've got these cars releasing soon. Hopefully the, the engines won't exist yet. Oh no. I have really screwed this company over. Because these cars technically are coming to the market. I mean this one's making is this one's losing us a lot of money. This is where we're losing all the money. So expenses. Can we somehow save something? So this will be making us profits as well. Nope. I think that was our last loan we were able to take. Is there anything I can do to save on expenses? So, how much am I spending here? Just take away all of this. This is drastic measures now. Oh, please. Please. Marketing, just stop marketing. I mean, it's not going to help. Uh, no. It was going so well and we were about to sell so many cars. Just stop marketing everything. I know the company will still be on the map, so it's n I'm not too worried about that.
I think this is it though. I thi I've got this really horrible feeling that we are about to go bankrupt. We've just taken out the last loan we can. I'm surprised we're allowed to take out a third emergency loan. Ah, and it's going to force us to pay it all back. What are the factories looking like? So these factories have now finished complete, uh, finished building. These vehicles are now on sale, but we have to wait another year until the end, at least another year until the engines are done. Is there anything I can do on the side? I can pause something, can't I? Hold on, let's pause. So let's have a look at our expenses. We could just, we could just about save this if we are able to pause things. So we've got the, we haven't got any engines available to us. So if we just pause production on everything, pause, pause. That means we won't be having factory, that's nuts. 151 million in lo We would actually be making a profit if we didn't go. If we, had to, if we didn't have to take that bigger loan out. I mean, the regal. Wait, no, the regal is selling. We somehow need to somehow make it this little distance that then we're able to sell all these cars. But this factory is going to ruin us. I can already see it. This these factories are going to ruin everything. If we even get there. We've got a few months. So we've got to pause the production on these two. That way these two won't be losing us money. And we are still making money with this car. So we will do that. We'll continue that. But the Spaster is losing us money because we don't have any engines at all for it. These ones actually don't either. But I'm so confused. Why... Why is it making us money? Are we making like pre-sales? Yeah, we're going into negative stock. There's nothing else I can do. I just have to let it play and I have to hope to goodness that this works. I don't, I don't I, like I said, I don't think it will. We're about to get the bankruptcy message. I, no, please. Half a year. It's literally half a year. Oh, we got another loan. Why did we get another loan? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh no. That's a lot of expenses. It's because this factory's come in. Like I said. Come on. Please. The company valuation is plummeting though, I don't th Come on. We are going along at a snail's pace. No, no. Come on. Come on. Just a couple more months. What, like a, literally a couple more months. We were forced to take out another loan. We're able to keep this company alive but we have to pay so much back in loans it is not even it's it, it that is crazy how did how did this happen how did we pull this off so these engines have now completed that means we can now sell the sposter again The Vetoretta was selling. So we're making a lot of money with this. As soon as this factory as soon as this factory is done, we should be making decent money again. Uh, come on. I need to see a green number. I need to see a green number. We're forced to take out another loan. That's fine by me, that'll keep us going. But we have so much back. We have so much we need to pay back. It is really killing the company right now. How many? How much we need to pay back in loans? But the factories are now done. So we don't need to build any more factories. So I think the company's done though. No. No. 
so we've got these two cars making most of our money, but we have so much on loan repayments. There is literally nothing I can do. How, how long is it until I need to pay back my loans? How much? That, wait, why is marketing still? Stop marketing! Stop marketing. Has it really begun marketing everything again? No. Okay. So. Company finances. Expenses. So. We have... 1 billion remaining there. We've got this bankruptcy loan is ending soon. This one isn't. This one isn't. Where's the one where we're paying stupid amounts of money? So this one we're paying stu stupid amounts of money for. This one is... This one we're paying a lot of money for. And this one. But this one's nearly done. We've literally got, what is that, four months, just over four months to repay that loan. Come on. Don't give us the bankruptcy message. We got another, <laughs> we got another loan. In that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the episode there. I am going to put together a plan to save this company. We have gotten so many bankruptcy loans it's not even funny but we are still there we're still in the game and we're selling so many cars now which is amazing so oh yeah <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys there thank you very much for watching it has been very stressful but we will come back stronger and we will deliver all these cars and make a huge profit again so thank you very much for watching everybody it was a pleasure making this video for you guys i hope you have a great evening day or morning or however sleep as well <laughs> but yeah take care guys bye bye